Hello viewers, Practical Ninjas brings you another interesting video. In this video, we are going to understand how accelerometer works. We all have heard about accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometers built into our smartphones. Using these sensors, smartphone processors understand the orientation of the phone in 3D space and takes actions accordingly. Let's take some of our time to understand how these actually work. First, let's start by understanding the basic physics of acceleration measurement using a spring and mass system. As seen in the diagram, a body of mass m is attached to a wall by a spring having spring coefficient k. When force f is applied to a mass m, it is displaced in the direction of the force by amount x with acceleration a. Using Newton's law and writing the force conserving equation, we get f equals ma which equals fs. This fs is nothing but the force due to the spring tension. The force due to spring tension is written as kx where x is the displacement of the body from initial rest position. Equating the forces, we get ma equals kx. Thus, we see that acceleration is a function of displacement, that is, a equals f of x. If we are somehow able to measure displacement, we can calculate the acceleration on the body. There are different methods to measure the displacement x. These methods use resistive techniques, capacitive techniques or inductive techniques. Let's have a look at the capacitive technique. We know from basic physics that C equals epsilon A by D, where D is the displacement or the distance between the two plates forming the capacitance. By varying this distance D between the plates, we can change the capacitance C. Capacitance can be easily measured electronically by using a signal conditioning circuit. So, to achieve this capacitance change, let's look at the modified spring mass diagram. Here, we can see two plates of capacitor. One is the movable plate attached to the mass M and the other is fixed at the initial position. When body accelerates due to force F, it causes change in the displacement, which is dependent on the acceleration A of the body. Due to X, the capacitance C across the fixed and movable plates change. By measuring this C, we can calculate the value of x, which helps us to infer the value of acceleration. This is the principle of measuring the acceleration. However, one cannot employ such a huge and big spring mass system inside an accelerometer IC. This is where MEMS come into play. MEMS stand for Micro Electromechanical Systems. These systems contain both mechanical and electronic components but they are fabricated at the scale of a micrometer. These MEMS are employed inside accelerometer IC, which helps keep its size small. Looking at the diagram, we can see a series of fixed plates on the outer assembly. Then there is an internal movable assembly. It has a small mass and is connected to outer assembly using spring contacts. The movable assembly also has plates which form a capacitor with plates of the outer fixed assembly. As the system moves due to acceleration, the internal assembly moves and due to displacement, the value of different capacitors change. By measuring these changes in capacitance, we can infer the acceleration acting on the body. Having such multiple MEM system in different planes, that is X, Y and Z, the accelerometer gives the readings of acceleration in different directions as seen by the body. Hope you have enjoyed and understood how the accelerometer IC works. That's it for the current video. In the next videos, we will discuss about gyroscope and magnetometer IC and their workings. Stay tuned to the channel to learn such more interesting stuff. Subscribe if not already done and share it with your friends. Stay calm and keep learning. Until next time, peace out.